What is the most superhuman thing you have ever seen anyone do? I got my finger trapped in my bike chain when I was reattaching it to the cog. My finger wasn't able to just pull out or even move the chain. My dad came out and snapped the chain in half as if it was nothing. One time I was walking on a super busy street when this girl tripped and almost landed straight into the traffic, except this dude who was also walking close by grabbed her before she bit the dust and pulled her up. It happened really fast and looked cool. My guardian once forgot to set the parking brake, he was working under the car. It ran over him and stopped, then he just lifted it off and walked away with a bruised arm. I was like 5 at the time. I once witnessed someone snort an eraser up their nose, then sneeze it out. Me and my dad were at a hockey game and a puck nearly hit me in the head, and my dad just grabbed out of thin air. We had an IED hit an up-armored UV from above. Everyone was hurt and due for the truck commander was damaged so it couldn't be opened. We had a guy in our unit who had won every single strength competition put on during our deployment, usually by comical amounts. He ripped the 200 plus pound door off the hinges to get to the wounded inside. Two of my friends and I were moving a couch and love seat. My one friend is chubby and short, and we each got an end of the love seat. My other friend was something of a bulwark and state wrestling champ at the time. He picked the couch up and put it on his shoulder without thinking about it or making a show of it. The two of us got the giggles at him. A guy from my rugby club was in my car, and I was trying to squeeze it into a tight space. He said, hold on, I have a quicker way, picked up the back of the car and just lifted it into place. It was a Fiat Cinquecento and not a Hummer, but even so, I was a touch surprised he could lift the back of the car. I saw my friend's cousin stomp on a Lego and break it, he didn't even show any sign of pain. He didn't even flinch. I've been afraid of him ever since. I saw a little kid, dude was like 7 to 9, get hit by a speeding car, thrown down the block, and get up, literally shake that shit off and walk away. People had to stop him from leaving so the ambulance could take him to the hospital. Once, I saw a guy hold his breath for 5 minutes underwater. I was completely blown away. There's a woman who works in the cafe in my office. We have about 1500 people who work here and she knows all of our names. Not only that, she's super good at her job and extremely pleasant. Kid was on the play structure, about 8 feet up. Slips suddenly. Mom is sitting on the bench, sees it, jumps up and catches the kid, slight into base style. Kid wasn't even phased, just got up and started climbing again, not even a thanks to mom. Mom casually got up, shook out her shirt, and went back to her book. Parent reflexes are epic. Also I wonder if they've done it before. I had a friend who could crawl on all fours extremely fast like supernaturally fast, he could easily reach an average human's running speed, it also didn't help that he said he learned how to do it in a dream. My dad accidentally dropped my brother on a balcony of a hotel, three stories high, when he was a baby. He immediately jumped down, grabbed him, and grabbed onto the balcony ledge right under us. I legit thought he was Superman. I once saw someone get hit by a car, and she rolled up on the bonnet then back off and onto the floor. She lay there for about a minute, and the driver jumped out of the car, and as he approached the woman on the floor, she suddenly jumped up like Superman and sprinted off up the road. Never ever seen anything like it. Like she didn't even feel it. I once saw a guy in a fight with two other guys pick one of them up and throw him at the other one. Saw a man, who was more than likely on meth, drop two cops and pull open the door of a moving train before jumping out onto the tracks. There was a little geo metro, we didn't know whose it was, blocking our garage so we couldn't get out. Car was locked, e-brake was set, and my dad fucking moved the whole thing by the fender, a good 100 feet, to a new parking spot, and wrote a note that said please don't park here again. When I was in 4th grade there was this kid, he was very rude. One day he messed with a group of kids and they all ganged up on him. He fought off around 5 to 10 kids all before recess ended. His worst injury from the fight was a tiny little cut on his arm, cause one of the kids scratched him. Everyone in the group had at least a broken bone somewhere. An 11 year old girl picked a barn door up off her brother. I have two. I didn't witness any of these, but there were people around to confirm it happened. Back in World War II, my great papa was a merchant marine, and the boat he was on, was going down. They were all instructed to jump off, but he couldn't swim. 
life jackets were kept in a heavy locked steel crate. Apparently through adrenaline he ripped the lid off and got one so he could survive. And then my cousin worked in a steel yard, the floor broke from under him, and he fell 10 plus stories to the ground. Survived with broken ribs. When I was 9, I accidentally got my hand stuck in the car door, and my mom had locked the key inside so she freaked out, and my friend's dad ran over and yanked it open. My friend Mike was fucking with my friend Johnny at work. Johnny walked away, grabbed a cheese stick and threw it at Mike from 10 feet away. The cheese stick hit one eye, broke across his nose and hit the other eye. It happened in a split second. Johnny walked away like nothing and Mike was freaking out because the crust got in both his eyes. It was the most amazing thing I had ever seen. When I was about 12, I was at a birthday party for a friend at a pool, and we were waiting in line to jump off of the diving board when a wasp started buzzing around us angrily. Some kid just reached up, grabbed it out of the sky, and crushed it in his hand. He didn't even flinch. My dad was trying to get into knife throwing. One of my younger brothers grabbed a throwing knife and throws it at another younger sibling. My dad reaches out and grabs the knife, point first, before it does any damage. He was barely cut due to the thick callouses from his job. I was only 12 at the time, and I was really impressed about how good his reflexes were. Had my Chevy 1500 fall on me. The jack slid out and the jack stand folded under the weight. The rotor pinned my thigh to the ground. My stepbrother who is like 5'6 mind you, grabbed the bumper and lifted the truck up enough that I was able to slide out. Didn't break anything, but tore a lot of muscle on my thigh. I thank him every time I see him, because it messed up his back. He's not a big guy, what he did was a feat of strength that I do not think I could do, and I'm a lot bigger than he is. My 5'2 mother once scaled a flat wall, with nothing to climb on up to electrical mains, that was over 10 feet off the ground, because a power cable had broken in my hand, and I was being electrocuted. If she hadn't have managed to turn it off, I would have died, and still have the scars from it over 30 years later. I think everyone gets adrenaline, but I think parents get a special super version that makes regular adrenaline look like a light tingle. Maybe trivial, but I find it cool that my girlfriend can taste pretty much any food once and identify most of the ingredients, or at least trace amounts of one particular ingredient. My husband lifted the front of a VW car off of a child who had been hit and had his neck under the front wheel. This saved his life and he was awarded by the police in our city. When I was a 6th grader I rode the bus home. Halfway through the route the bus would pick up kids from another school. These kids would often encourage the bus driver to speed over dips and bumps as it would launch the kids a few inches in the air. She never did it until one time when she took a bump at 45 miles per hour. Kids hit the luggage racks, flew across seats, and the emergency door at the back flew open, and this 10-year-old kid fell out of the bus. Now the bus was slowing down at this point, but still traveling fairly quickly, and this kid rolled back to his feet in one fluid motion, sprinted up to the bus, and leapt the five or so feet back through the doorway, like he wasn't forcibly ejected from a moving vehicle. Ex-boyfriend shattered the windshield on my car with his fist. Too bad he didn't use his powers for good. I was with a family friend helping out in the back garden, this was in France where everyone's back gardens are the size of a small island. Anyway, as we're doing some weeding we hear commotion coming from the front, we run over, and the Corando's handbrake failed, and it rolled over the dog, trapping the dog under the car, this woman ran over to the car, and just lifted this heavy fucking off-road vehicle like it was a piece of paper. The dog is fine by the way, and if you google the car it will come up with the new ones, it's the 1998 one she's got I think. My friend head butted a metal door and made a dent in it. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I was once at the supermarket and there were these two massive guys that had a broken tire. One of the guys just lifted the small car while the other one replaced the tire. Then they just drove away like it was completely normal. My mind was blown away and I still think about it all the time. My dad hated flat soda, so he closes the bottles extra tight. Sometimes, it's too tight for anyone to open. However, my mom, who's chill, always tired, and seemingly frail, does this trick where she puts her fingers at her temple, mumbles power, and then hunches over the 2-liter bottle, and twists the cap open in a fraction of a second. That is fucking amazing to me. 